Good morning. You're at Gruber Motor Company. We have a bricked, locked Roadster arriving this morning, which makes it very difficult to get off a transporter because the rear wheels are locked. When we find out about a brick Roadster and we can control the process, it's important to put it in tow mode before it gets shipped here. If the Roadster ends up getting bricked hard, then we have locked wheels. There is a way to unlock them, which is about what we're to do now by applying 12 volts to a couple of terminals on the car. But to get it here, or to get it on a transporter, required a tow truck to deck the car inside the uh, transporter and then winch it to the position within the transporter. So what we're going to do now is uh, apply 12 volts, see if we can get it into tow mode so it becomes free rolling, and then we can roll it into our service center and start the recovery process to unbrick the car. In order to unlock this car now, the rear wheels are locked, we ended up having to remove the passenger rear wheel. And what the, um, uh, the technician is going to do now is go inside that wheel well and connect to a 12 volt block to uh, re-enable the car so that we're able to put it in tow mode. And once in tow mode, the car will be free rolling and we won't have to winch it off of the vehicle or off the transporter. This car came from Florida. It is um, one of the last or the last production Roadster built. The car has never seen any rain, according to the owner. It has only 2,400 miles on the odometer and it is a 2011 Tesla Roadster. So our transporter brought his friend with him to keep him company on this long trip from Florida. And uh, this is a... It's a Yorkie, it's eight months, I mean uh, eight weeks. Eight weeks eight old. Weeks old. That's, a, that's a young little fella. So the final step in unlocking this brick Roadster, which means the rear wheels are locked, we're going to go inside the car now. We've got 12 volts connected to the uh, terminal block in the passenger rear uh, wheel well. And our engineer now is going to go in with a laptop and I'll let him describe what happens next. We've got the laptop hooked up. We're hooked up in the car right now to the PEM CAN bus. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send a CAN signal to that TCM as soon as we've got power to the car. And we're gonna tell it to unlock that parking pass so this thing will free roll right off the transporter. So what we just did with the laptop, we sent a couple of CAN bus signals to the uh, parking lock in the back. And now we're going to see if we were successful in unlocking this Roadster. The unlocking of this Roadster through that laptop process, uh, digging into the CAN bus signals was successful. We have this Roadster now free rolling and we're going to uh, let it roll out the rest of the way now. The Florida Roadster that just arrived and is unlocked now, freewheeling, is in our service center. And from here, it is going to immediately get life support because it has a brick battery pack and we're going to recover this battery pack and make this a drivable car again. In the world of roadsters, there were um, some different series of roadsters built. The first ones were the engineering prototypes then came validation prototypes, and then came a whole bunch of roadsters, under 2,400 or so that were made. This particular car has a very special significance. It happens to be VIN number 1459, which is the last production roadster made. What came after this car was five special roadsters, which were part of the final five. Let me show you something. We're going to uh, go into the trunk here very shortly and begin the recovery process. But as we open this, we realize because of its significance, 
this roadster actually has an autograph from Elon Musk, which is glued right to the PEM here in the trunk. We now have the car opened up. The next step with this bricked roadster is life support. And this is where we inject DC voltage into the main ESS battery pack to begin to revive that pack. Now, the most important step when any roadster gets bricked is, of course, tow mode, log file, but pulling the service plug is vital on the battery. And the reason for that is it prevents any further battery drain. And if that is done fairly quickly when a roadster gets bricked within the first few days or um, first few week or so, we are able to recover this car without doing a battery pull. The service plug looks like this. In this particular case, it's still in the pack. And for the last couple of months, there has been a battery drain on this pack. So we're going to show you where that's located and how to remove that. The next step with this recovery process, we're going to try what we call a level one recovery process which is injecting DC voltage into the ESS pack to bring it up to a voltage level that allows the charge port to be activated again so we can charge through the Tesla charge port door. In order to facilitate that, we have to remove this cover here. And what that does is it exposes 11 slots, which is where the battery management boards reside. And uh, from here, what we're going to do is remove two of them we're going to uh, install special boards that we've created and inject DC voltage and attempt to get that voltage up enough with a controlled uh, current limiting power supply to where we can get it to a level to start the charge again. What we're looking at here now, we're going to clip this fluke meter across the battery string voltage and we're looking at a total of 54.58 volts. That's about um, 70 volts less than what we expect for a brick roadster that will suffice with a level one recovery. But um, the important part now is to get life support started, get the DC charging started, and uh, we'll keep an eye on it for the next 24 hours with a controlled current limiting charge to see what we can get that string voltage to. So at this point, um, we're coming up rapidly in voltage. Uh, part two is going to be a determination what level we reach and uh, whether a um, string charge suffices or whether this car has to go up on a lift like this car here and a battery gets dropped and we have to work on these sheets or replace sheets. So if we do have to go to a level two battery recovery for the last production Roadster, it's going to look exactly like this where the car goes up on a lift we drop a thousand pound battery pack and we go inside and we actually repair or replace sheets. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two of this uh, Roadster video.